Hi everyone, welcome back to Nails by Sora. Oh, I'm tired. Today is day one back at work. Um, I work Thursdays through Mondays, so this is Thursday or this is the end of Thursday. And it was just a very long day. I had to literally force myself up off the couch or else I was gonna fall asleep. So I wanna do some more nail art designs and these are going to be abstract uh, line art designs. So I did the lace in my last video and I've done, I did something similar to this, but um, this is gonna be white marble with gold suns, moons, and stars, but I'm not going to do it today. Um, what I wanna do is, it's hard to tell what it is. Basically this, I'm trying to remember because I saw something, I saw a nail design online and I miss, um, took it for something that it wasn't, but it gave me the idea. And now it's hard for me to tell from my sketch what it actually was. So um, I'm gonna play around with it a little bit. And then I have these other ones that are, this is kind of like a yin yang uh, some diamond shapes. Uh, this kind of now in retrospect looks like a manual scale, but um, we'll see if we can turn it into something other than that. And then I figured I'd do just some brush stroke designs because those are getting kind of popular now. So we'll see how many we get through. They're not really that complicated, so it shouldn't take too long. But we'll start out with this one once I can figure out what it was supposed to be. But I've got my nail all set and ready to go. I've got a few different colors. This one is from Madame Glam Dreamer. And I don't think I've ever actually used this one. I've had it for over a year, so it probably needs to be shaken quite well. But it's this um, darker taupey nude. Then I've got this one from F Gel, which is number 77. And it's kind of like a, uh, a cementy neutral color. Then organic eggshell from a prey, which I think is going to be the background color. The only thing that I'm concerned about is that these might be too similar in tone. But we'll see how they look. And then I'm going to do some outlining with uh, the gold gel paint from Madame Glam. So first and foremost, I'm going to get the nail ready to go. So I'm going to do two coats of organic eggshell, which is probably my favorite neutral at the moment. I'm going to give each coat a full cure of 30 seconds. And then we will move on to the design. All right, so we've got our background color good to go. I'm gonna go in with our lighter neutral. And I think basically what I wanted to do was kind of like these overlapping circles. I'm gonna take my liner brush to even out the edge. That's the problem with doing these designs so far in advance that, I mean, I write notes obviously as to the basics of the design. But by the time I actually do it, I don't remember what I meant or what my initial vision was. I 
Okay, that's pretty good. I don't think I need to do two coats. Well, maybe. It doesn't really need to be too opaque around the tip because I'm going to go over that with the other, uh, with the darker neutral anyway. So F gel needs a 60 second cure. I'm going to go ahead and do that, put in the second coat, and then we will move on to the next portion of the design. Now I'm going to go in and put in the darker neutral tone. So I'm getting to the point where I'm either going to start putting my phone on do not disturb or I'm just going to have to resign myself to doing voiceovers all the time because clearly I cannot record and talk at the same time because I'm always getting phone calls. Um, so my phone call with my sister of course ended about halfway through recording this video but at that point i just didn't want to talk anymore so i ended up just doing um the video while watching a i don't remember if i watched a youtube video or a movie or what i was doing but i just wasn't in the mood to talk anymore so i am doing this after the fact the nails are completed i love all of them except for potentially one but we'll go over that at the end Right now, I'm just finishing up this nail. I went and put in the two tones of the nude color, and now I'm outlining them with gold gel paint from Madame Glam. And I absolutely love the way this nail turned out. It's probably my favorite out of all six, seven, how many did I do? Um, but yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites, and I love the way the colors come together. You can definitely see the differentiation between the two lighter nudes. Um, as well as obviously the uh, more pinky uh, taupey nude on top. So I'm just finishing up with outlining the nail in the gold and then we're going to get on to the second nail. So with the second nail, I went in with the concrete um, toned nude by F Gel, and I'm going over it and I'm coating the tip with this brown from F Gel. All the information for the colors that I used will be in the description box below. The F Gel colors don't really have, as far as I know, they don't have names to them. They're just numbered, but if they have a uh, coinciding name with them, I will place them down in the description box as well. So I was going back and forth with the overall pattern for this nail and it does resemble somewhat of a yin yang. It doesn't have the secondary circle in the darker portion, but I kind of wanted to do a lock and key style design where the circle fits inside the dominant shape. So the way I drew it, the curve of the design comes up around the cuticle line so I'm refining that right now and putting that in and then I'm going to use the taupe from Madame Glam to create the circle. The overall theme for all of these designs are going to basically be the same. I'm going to be using the same four colors alternating between background, foreground, um, light, dark, but then I'm also going to be outlining with the gold gel paint where applicable. So I don't think I really need to talk too much throughout the entire video. It's all pretty self-explanatory, um, alternating back and forth between curved lines and straight lines and overlapping. 
and um, that's basically the sum of this video I'm really just trying to flesh out my nail design book that I'm bringing with me to work or I will be bringing with me to work so if you like this video I invite you to please hit that like and subscribe button and of course ring that notification bell so that you always know when new videos are available but um, we're gonna go and continue on with this video I'm gonna finish up the circle go ahead and outline with the gold gel paint and then continue on with the third nail
All right, so I wanted to break in here and talk about wh what I'm doing here. I'm using the Ombre brush from Madame Glam to kind of create these three brush strokes. And I see it a lot, and I had done it uh, by accident like over a year ago. I was playing around with pigments and uh, different colors, and I used my finger to drag the polish across the nail, which I was using a glove, if I remember correctly. I would never do it back bare hand. And if I did back then, I would certainly never repeat it now, uh, knowing more as much as I do about um, gel allergies and contact dermatitis. Always wear gloves if you're going to be touching gel directly. 
um, or just don't touch it directly, use a brush. But I used the ombre brush to lay down the first three strokes of each color and now I'm just using my liner brush to feather it out and kind of give it a more specific brush stroke look. The, I did it coming down from the free edge on this nail and on the next nail I do it coming up from the cuticle line. I like the way it came out a little bit better with this nail because there's the space in between the three strokes. I kind of put them right up against each other in the next nail and I don't think they turned out as nice. But I do really like the way this nail turned out. I'm accenting the brush strokes with a little bit of that gold. And then I'm going to top coat it. The same will be done with the next nail, just a different perspective, and that's going to conclude this video. I will be wrapping it up at the end. All right, so those are all six of the nails. The first three are definitely my favorites, followed by the fifth nail. Um, not sure how I feel about the fourth nail, but like I said, I'm pointing at it right now, the first nail is really my favorite. I really like the way that came out. And that design is really the inception of this series to begin with. Um, my second favorite is the third one, which I pointed to with the diamonds, but Really, that's going to do it for us tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any comments or questions as to any of the products I use, please put it down in the comments section below. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.